For most people, realness was first and foremost in the rap game. Artists like 669 Gunner or Lil Mabu, who we are talking about today, now have insane reach and are more or less accepted by the hip hop community. And that wouldn't have been the case 10 years ago. In addition, there are more and more industry plants. An industry plant is someone who is about to enter the music business or the rap business, destroys everything and no one knows why. They have the most blatant contacts, have the most blatant backing from the industry, and everyone is doing features with such people. There are such industry plants in every genre, just like in the New York Drill. And the two most famous examples here are Ice Spice and Lil Marbu. <laughs> Lil Marbu is a white boy with rich parents who raps incredibly hard drill lyrics. These are two things that just don't fit together, at least not in one person. Ops dissing, weapons and rapping about him, never snitching, yes, that's part of his lyrics. In a music video, Lil Mabu even made it so that he was shot. And this is exactly the way you come across a lot of criticism. Because Lil Mabu does not embody this world. He never had the problems like a boy who has to watch how people are shot, who has to be afraid for his life. And yet he somehow wants to get into the hood. Everyone wants to get out of the hood and Lil Mabu wants in. That's a bit of a paradox and that's why I'm not surprised that he's going viral. Many people saw parallels to Slim Jesus at first, who had nothing to do with gangs or the hood, but still rapped about it. Slim Jesus was just a one-off and Lil Mabu is not. Because he is now one of the biggest drill rappers in New York. He has millions of streams, connections with the hottest drill rappers. But how can that be? I mean, Lil Mabu is obviously not credible. He is not real and does not embody the music he releases. This success is based on three reasons. Marketing, money, and talent. And yes, people, I say talent. Lil Mabu is an incredibly talented artist. He has sick lyrics, he has sick flows, and knows how to deal with his voice. Watch Lil Mabu in his music videos. Lil Mabu is an incredibly strong actor. The guy definitely has experience in the whole thing. And I suspect that he definitely had acting lessons at his private school. And that's no fun, because Lil Mabu has recently visited a private school. My name is Matthew DeLuca. I go to the collegiate school. I'm in ninth grade. And my favorite thing about Kids Walk for MSK Kids is to getting together with friends and family to support such a wonderful cause. His father paid for this because Lil Mabu comes from a rich parent's home. He grew up in Manhattan and his father owns a real estate company. There was once the rumor that his father was a CEO of a label, which was completely false. That's just not true. But his father definitely has money. There was also the case that his father somehow scammed $10 million from his ex-wife before Lil Mabu was born. But that has nothing to do with the person Mabu, so I'm not going to go into that in detail. Nevertheless, I just wanted to make it clear to you that the family has a lot of money. They live in a big villa, have a great estate, and Lil Mabu was never afraid of anything. Lil Mabu doesn't hide that either. He often links his father to music videos and TikToks which have gone viral. He also constantly makes videos in his school uniform. And he just plays with the public that he fulfills this cliche of this rich white boy. And he does that on purpose because that's how he goes viral. Lil Mabu is a marketing genius, and that's exactly his strategy, going viral in the first place. Nah, he's lagging. Yo, Mabu! Yo! Yo! Why are you lagging? Lagging? What you mean, bro? Like, oh, you know where you at right now? Like, bro, I yeah. take everything off you, bro. Like, yeah. I'm outside Dolly, you know Mabu's body, bro. Yo, Mabu, like, what you got on you, like? Oh, he got the now! He also obviously stole the flow from King Von in his track no snitching feet, Dusty Locaine. And King Von is the realest rapper we've had in recent years. There is no more gangster than him. Lil Mabu knows exactly what he's doing. And for those people who don't know Dusty Locaine, he's a rapper from Brooklyn who is actually very respected. And that is also noticeable in the career of Lil Mabu. He works with an incredible number of drill rappers who are simply respected, no matter if Shy K, Didi Osama, D-Tang, or Dusty Locaine. You're probably wondering now, hey, why do such people work with Lil Mabu? Quite simply, every rapper has his price. Lil Mabu's father has no problem paying $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 for a feature just so that his son may make progress in his career. In addition, Lil Mabu is now a big name. That means people who work with Lil Mabu have the potential to grow themselves. 
But did you know that Lil Mabu was already relatively well connected before his music career? That's simply because he used to market rappers. He helped rappers to grow their social media accounts. That's what the YouTuber Patrick CC leaked. He published a very old DM from Lil Mabu, which he received a few years ago. And here Lil Mabu asked him if he should market him. And Lil Mabu mentioned some big rappers like 42 Duck in his message. That would definitely explain why he chilled with people like PNB Rock, Lil Durk or K Flock. He's been active in the background for years. And that without his father having a position in the music industry. And I think you have to respect that. Because Lil Mabu's a smart boy. He knows exactly what he's doing. I think Lil Mabu has a plan. He knows exactly what his next step is. Lil Mabu is somehow always a topic in the media. And he has become so well known. I mean, his first tracks weren't drill tracks. He made karma music which is actually not violent at all. And at some point it turned into drill rap because Lil Mabu got on this hype train. Through his contacts that he had collected in the years before, he was posted by some meme pages, by some rap pages. And of course he went viral with his appearance, but you give it to him. He knew exactly how to behave. He knew how to use his voice and he knew what he had to rap so that he somehow slips into this drill game. But that's also a very dangerous game. I mean, in the track with Shy K, which is called Everybody K, he just disses the ops of Shay K. And Shay K disses his ops all the time. That's a game with the flame. Because that's how Lil Mabu deals with people he doesn't even know. Somehow his name is always in the media. Sometimes it's some kind of statement. Sometimes it's some kind of diss track. Sometimes it's some other track. Lil Mabu somehow doesn't get out of the mainstream. The best example is the last few months. Seven months ago, Lil Mabu released a statement in which he confirmed that he will now study and only in the meantime allegedly pursue his music career. In this statement, he says that he has rejected a blatant offer and wants to concentrate on life. And I'll be honest with you, that was the first video in which Lil Mabu came over to me honest and not like a troll. Nevertheless, you never know. Lil Mabu is actually trolling all the time similar to 6699. You can't believe anything there. Nevertheless, if that's true, I find it very respectable because this step not many rappers would do. Two months later, after this whole college thing has flattened a bit and nobody talked about it anymore, he suddenly released a diss track against Blueface and on this diss track is Blueface's ex on it, Kreshan Rock. And I can tell you 100% that this diss track was Lil Mabu's idea. I mean, there are even videos from the music studio where the two recorded the track. And here, Lil Mabu says to Christian Rock what she should rap. And exactly what he said was a diss against Blueface. Blueface had to find a new base. Fuck Blueface and had to find a new base. He knows exactly how he triggers people. And he's really good at that. In the meantime, there is even the rumor that Lil Mabu should have something going on with Kreshan Rock. That the two should date. And in my opinion, that's just bullshit. That's obviously a promo move. But all the media reports about it. Yes, not much is known about Lil Mabu, at least not about his normal life. Nevertheless, it is a very interesting story because Lil Mabu is an industry plant. But he brought himself to this position. I personally believe that he only uses the whole drill wave as a springboard to get into the mainstream. I really suspect that he could play a bigger role in the rap game in the coming years. And now let me know in the comments, do you listen to Lil Mabu or is he just too fake for you? I personally think he can rap really well. But I think he's a bit corny, so I can't listen to him. But tastes are different. Thank you for watching, people. Don't forget to rate the video. See you next time. Ciao.